Hey there, I'm up on my roof today for a follow-up video on this 20-foot long Yagi antenna I made for TV reception. And over the years, the original video I put up has gotten a lot of comments about this particular antenna. Uh, different things I could change to try and improve the gain of the antenna. And whereas they're all correct, there are things I could do to improve the gain. It's actually no longer necessary. Um, the original signal I was trying to receive is located about 60, 70 miles or so out in that direction. And it's very hard to receive thanks to the local mountains and terrain here. But a number of years ago, that TV station, they installed a low power uh, transmitter up there on those hills, along with all the other signals in my area. So it turns out I don't even need this antenna anymore for that signal that I was trying to receive. So this antenna actually kind of been unused for a couple of years and I decided recently to repurpose it. So I was going to show the changes I've done here. So first thing I did is, well there are two signals out in that direction. There's the one that's really far away and then there's a closer one out that direction. It's only about 30 miles away. Still hard to receive because of the hills and the mountains but not as hard. And so first thing I've done is I've re-aimed the antenna, pointed it at that second signal. And then the other main change I did is this. I installed a corner reflector on there. Took out the single reflector I had about here and did this corner reflector setup. And the corner reflector itself, I had a hard time finding designs for them online. There are plenty of designs for the, the Yagi itself of different lengths and whatnot, but the corner reflector, I just didn't couldn't find designs. So uh, for example, like the lengths of the individual reflectors here, I went with the same length as the single reflector I had before and just kind of replicated them along. I also didn't know how far back I should go or how many and what spacing I should do along here. So as far as the distance, I actually just kind of played with this. I slid it back and forth along the boom and found the sweet spot, if you will, of where I got the most gain. And then as far as spacing I don't even remember I think I just like took something that looked about right and put it in and then the number of them that one was actually kind of limited by the hardware I had on hand I only had so much of this nylon uh, block left as well as the aluminum rods so I did as many as I could and just filled it out and one thing you'll notice the the two things are offset here and that's actually because of the thickness of the boom here so the elements are in a line to this being the vertex whereas if I mounted this back here then the vertex would be somewhere down here which would be off center with the rest of the Yagi so um, I installed this and it definitely does work it uh, a corner reflector doesn't necessarily increase the gain of the channel that the Yagi is cut for but it does improve the gain on the other channels around it and this corner reflector does do that the the entire antenna does pick up signals better in fact it picks up everything in the complete opposite direction all those signals from up there so yeah here's just a kind of a follow-up video showing what's going on with this antenna now thanks for watching